be honest, I'm pretty sick. I've had a rough week. You can tell that I'm sick because I have not shaven. So I think I'm going to go for some of that uh, low hanging fruit and do a video about uh, some easy content, some easy stuff that uh, is easy to do. But in reality, editing this is probably going to be a pain in the butt. <coughs> I'm sure it sounds fabulous with my plugged up nose. So this is something that I've actually wanted to do for quite a while, and that is to go through my YouTube subscriptions and the channels that I like on YouTube and just talk a little about them. Some of them are uh, pretty famous, uh, some of them do not need the uh, push notoriety or me to tell you that hey, you should go watch them because they are already super popular, but some of them are a little bit uh, less uh, popular and uh, I think they deserve more praise, so... Let's go on with the sick video. <clears throat> so I don't really know why the subscriptions are like all jacked up because every time I come to this section, it is different every single time. It's not I, I wish it would just, you know, categorize them in a way that I could customize it or at least alphabetize it. it it's super annoying. <clears throat> First up, the game grumps. Pretty easy to see why these guys are popular. I like them because it's just two guys just hanging out, which is not uncommon for YouTube nowadays and certainly wasn't uncommon for YouTube five years ago, but just straight up, these guys are good, they are uh, active in their respective communities, be it, be it gaming or arts and crabs, uh, Twitter, uh, I know uh, uh, Aaron Hansen, Ego Raptor is... Uh, is on Twitter quite a bit, I see him quite a bit, uh, Danny's always a joy to listen and just to get his introspective on things, and it's kind of nice to see, uh, a gaming channel, uh, where one of them is not a, an atypical, 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 and, uh, a typical gamer, which sounds super weird about that, but it's interesting to see these guys and their respective, uh, thoughts on things, and even when they're just uh, uh, shooting the breeze, it's very interesting to just sit and um, listen to them talk. And they're also very, very funny. Their new 10 minute power hour section, I do enjoy. It, it, you get to see a lot of uh, the, uh, the boys uh, be a little bit more fun and a little bit more creative in terms of making a comedy-esque show. I although I, I will say that I do really miss their original uh, 10 minute power hour intro music. I don't know. I thought they uh, switched a little bit too early, but uh, you know that, that's just an uh, that's just an opinion. Maximilian dude, this guy, I will fully admit I watch pretty religiously, and uh, I will definitely say that I I don't want to say copy or or take of because that's obviously bad but i definitely in a way structuring more of my uh, uh more video game uh videos kind of in the manner that he does his he has a lot of uh industry uh pull he he's been in he's been making videos and uh, movies for quite a long time and uh he definitely helped me realize my actual hidden appreciation for fighting games uh, I've been following this guy since uh, he started making uh, Assist Me uh, videos, which those are those were videos dedicated to helping learn characters in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 when that game first came out. So this guy, I definitely uh, super dig him, and he's super close to making it to uh, uh, 1 million subscribers, so if you haven't subscribed to him, I highly suggest it if you are a fighting game guy. I can't tell you how much I respect Max and the Yo! Video Games crew, Steve, Kenny, Simmons, all those guys. I honestly actually watch pretty much all of their streams whenever they go live, and uh, just those guys are just huge inspirations to me. Philly D, Philip DeFranco, the uh, newsman of uh, YouTube. Uh, great guy, I certainly like his takes. I, as someone that is not really um, political or really talks about uh, politics personally, uh, I respect his opinion quite a bit and I appreciate the fact that he uh, prides himself on releasing information about the news and 
does a great job uh, keeping upkeep when uh, news articles are not correct. Uh, he's good at uh, making sure that false information does not spread. And he, we are, as humans, are fallible. Uh, we all make mistakes. Uh, he makes a great job to make it a point where if he does make a mistake, he will retcon it and fix it and announce it. And he's just a general good guy. Despite what you think about uh, his... Uh, opinions because that's uh, what I, I believe generally people go to him for he's the kind of guy that i would love to have a beer with and just pick his brain about certain things he, he's such a a great speaker and uh to be completely honest while lately i've just been kind of been kind of met on the uh news and political uh news updates recently kind of um i'm more interested in the weird news that he posts just some weird stuff that happens around the world that's that's my cup of tea fine bros now certainly uh these guys have uh had a controversial past i generally am kind of surprised by myself that i'm still subscribed to this channel honestly i think i only watch them because they are very topical they cover um memes and uh a lot of other stuff which as uh, for me, I'm not really into meme culture that much, but much like Phil DeFranco, they uh, cover what's uh, happening in the world. While Phil covers the more uh, serious news cycles, uh, I feel FBE covers more um, pop culture stuff. And uh, while I don't uh, think that they're, um, pe the people that react to uh, videos and stuff are necessarily the best options or the best people to uh, report their uh, what they think about things, because certainly when you're uh, subjected to this kind of thing over and over and over again, your uh, opinion kind of changes and stuff, which is fine, but uh, I think it'd be more interesting if they have more just different people that rotate that are just not usually on the show. I, I think I would uh, respect them. Not that that's not to say that I don't respect them, but I think I would appreciate them if they had more of the street uh, kind of... Uh, folks that come onto the show instead of the same people all the time. MXR plays. Now, <laughs> I might think this is a, uh, <laughs> a girl running this channel. Uh, this is Genie, but it's actually, uh, this guy named Henry. I originally followed him maybe like five years ago. He did a lot of, uh, Skyrim modding, uh, part of the, uh, that modding community. And I really liked his, uh, uh mod reviews for Skyrim. They were very interesting, and for a while, you didn't even know what his ethnicity was, and when I found out he was, uh, uh, I believe, uh, can't remember, Vietnamese? I think he's Vietnamese, but the uh, Asian descent, uh, I mean, that definitely made me appreciate him more as a, uh, uh Asian creator on the internet. Lately, <coughs> lately, he's been doing a lot more, um, videos about kind of reacting to different things let's see what his opening things were uh some of these like uh, uh kind of buzzfeed um uh, quizzes and stuff like that uh, just kind of I, i'm not sure if you'd call them a meme but uh they're definitely he definitely does a lot less um skyrim modding and that's mostly because he his content originally on skyrim modding is de definitely more generated to um the uh, sexier side and definitely youtube will hit that with a monetary strike so i get why he has to do something to uh get income that doesn't revolve his main thing which is sad to say that a lot of the uh, skyrim stuff and the modding kind of goes away he still does it though which is nice um i actually wish he kind of vlogged more because i really appreciated watching him uh, go on uh, adventures and stuff like that. Another thing why I really like uh, Henry and Jeannie is uh, they're relatively, actually they are my age, and it's kind of interesting to see uh, these uh, two uh, just kind of go about through life uh, kind of like I would in being the same age relatively, and it's just kind of interesting to see what, you know, someone, other people my age do, you know? <laughs> Critical Role! Uh, it is a famous group of voice actors that do Dungeons and Dragons every Thursday's evening on Twitch. Uh, what can I say about these guys? I mean, the lineup is stellar. All, all these beautiful, beautiful people are, uh, amazing, amazing voice actors and voice actresses in their own right, and, uh, I just really like Dungeons and Dragons quite a bit, and they are kind of, I guess you could say, the premier live streamers that uh, do um, Dungeons and Dragons. Nintendo.
I like them. Booth Junkie. Now, this is a smaller channel. Uh, it's uh, run by this guy named uh, Mike Delgado. It's either Mike Delgado or Mike Delgado. This guy does a bunch of tips and tricks uh, and uh, uh, mostly does uh, mic uh, comparisons for microphones and uh, kind of does some um, advice for uh, voice acting. As you guys know, I'm really into voice acting and hopefully will one day make it a full blown career. Um, there are probably other people that I could follow, but I just like the way Mike talks and speaks about things. I like it because it, uh, scratches a audio engineer itch for, in terms of, uh, uh audio gear. So that's one reason why I, I appreciate this channel quite a bit. And, uh, he's a nice guy and I appreciate him. And, uh, he, he's very down to earth, uh, uh, kind of guy. And it kind of, this channel feels very much like, in the vein of old school YouTube in terms of a channel that would be doing these tips and tricks things, but old school. So I can appreciate that quite a bit. Those Hardy Boys, the continue cast. These guys are part of Normal Boots, which uh, I'll, that's a whole nother uh, section of the internet, but uh, I'll get to that one day in another video. Continue, I love these boys, run by Nick, Paul, and Josh. These guys, they're <laughs> not exactly, in terms of their uh, uh, channel trailer, they're not exactly let's players for uh, their channel. What can I say about Continue? They are so interestingly and unique uh, about the videos they put up. Mostly they play old school games uh, and very odd games, mostly retro. They even make um, just live action stuff. Their editing is spot on. Sometimes they don't edit their own episodes they have a hired editor these guys are freaking hilarious and uh, one demographic that i enjoy about uh some of these people i am subscribed to uh, as an example max is that uh they are older than me so i am someone that likes uh retro stuff i like 80s and 90s and stuff like that even further back not just even video games I'm, i just like history seeing and listening to guys that are older than me but like the same things and it, it, it's interesting to see a different perspective on the things that I like from a different viewpoint, a different age group, a different generation. That's one reason why I really like Continue. These guys constantly make me laugh so much and uh, me and my friend reference what they say all the time. And they really are into creative works, which uh, they they all want to be filmmakers and they have made a, a film as well uh, and even a show. And uh, these guys are just great. I can't, these guys definitely deserve more people watching them because they are fantastic. Oh, Namco Music Center. I kind of forgot I am subscribed to this. This is a channel that Namco just uploads um music mostly i listen to this for uh fighting game music and other namco music so that's the reason why i have these guys geek and sundry i think originally i subscribed to them because uh critical role was uh their parent company i, I suppose and they'll recently critical role uh, broke off and did their own thing. So that's probably why I subscribe to them. I haven't been attuned to too much of Geek and Sundry too much recently. I do miss when uh, they had a uh Will Wheaton's Tabletop, that was a pretty cool uh, show where uh, you have uh, famous people like uh, actors, directors, and people in the industry would come and just play different uh, uh, board games and tabletop games. That was a lot of fun to watch. Other than that, I'm not, I don't really watch too much of Geek and Sundry very much anymore. So that's just a couple of channels that uh, I'm subscribed to. I think I'm subscribed to over 160 channels on YouTube. Some of these I probably don't even watch anymore Pro some of these channels are probably dead by now but in all honesty though i have been wanting to do a video like this for a long time and i'm kind of i kind of want to get through all my subscriptions and talk about all these channels in a little bit of a, a little capacity and then i think i kind of want to do this for uh, updates for any other channels that i really like i i, I kind of dig the idea well, anyways, that's gonna be it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, I hope you guys uh, uh, find some new people to subscribe and more content to watch because uh, most of these guys, that uh, most of these channels that uh, I watch, I, I advocate for uh, quite heavily. And some of these guys, some of these channels, they deserve a lot more uh, people watching them. But anyways, uh, I've rambled on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.